Okay, so our game now is at the point where we can move around inside a room. We can collect points, and I assume what we want is once we've gathered up all the points that are to be had at, at, in the room, we want to get another level. We would call that one level, one uh, screen, one wave. I don't know what to call it, but something else has to happen. How do we do that? Okay, so first of all, we're going to create another room. Okay, uh, you were right-clicking there. That does the same thing as clicking yep. on, the, on the square there for the room. Yeah. So we've just, we just get another default room. This yep. is called room one over here. Yes. Okay, and room one is that boring gray background, and so... So let's just change it to... Purple. Okay, something different than the blue one to show yes. us that we're on another level of our game. So, we're going to create the objects again. Okay. First of all, our player. Player is going to start there today. Yeah. Level two. Okay. And if we and wanted to do something like let them know that it was level two, we could do that. But we're, for now, we're just going yeah. to stick with the basics. So now we're going to put some borders. You're holding down the shift key and you're dragging around walls and floors so that our man can't leave the room and get confused because we want playable games and the expected behavior in gaming is that if you get to the edge of something you either scroll through it or you stop and yeah. we're not doing anything scrolling right now we're just looking at uh, single rooms so we usually want level two to be a little more difficult so, we're, I'm just making a little random level here. Okay, there's a set of, of uh, walls for a maze, and we want some points. One here. And for now, we've just got it so that it's wide open. The player can navigate freely through the environment the room yeah. that we're creating and, and get all the points he wants. Yeah. And uh, what we'll do later is we'll we'll start to add uh, enemies where things are made more difficult for him uh, and uh, consequences of collision with the enemies. But yeah. for now, we'll just make a, a, a second level. You need to uh, show us how to how to move from uh, the first room to the second room. So in other words, room zero to to, uh, to room one. So I'll leave that to you. Okay, um, so you said something about getting all the points. So in the collision event with the point, we want to check if there is no more of that object. So we do that in the control tab. Okay. We check if... Okay, there's a, a li uh, questions, there are graphical ones. So the question there is to do with the quantity. Okay. Yeah. So we drag that in. Test instant count. Okay. If, uh, if the point object is equal to zero. Yes. Then, so that's just the test. Yep. Then um, you usually put these little things. So if this is true. Start then doing something and do it and then finish doing it. Okay. Yes. So if... There are no point objects. Yeah, we got them all. We, we're, we're good at the game. Yep. And uh, then you want to go to the next room. Ah, okay. Fine. And yeah. um, if you want the like transition effect, you can do blend, fade out, and in. Okay. Can you show us one of those in this? Yeah. All right. We'll do the fade out. Okay. Okay. And so that is going to transition us based on the fact that we, we got all the points in level one. It will transition us to level two. It will drop us in there and we'll be able to play level two. Okay. Yes, but um, if it is at the last room and it tries to go to the next room, it will give us an error. So we're going to check if the next room exists, then we're going to go to the next room. Okay, but and that was, that was uh, again, on the main uh, tab. Yes. And that uh, if next room exists condition 
is simply a default one that we can drag in there to make sure that we're not done the game. Yeah, but if you are done the game, so that would be the else. Okay. This uh, applies when this condition is not true. Okay, yeah. So, uh, in other words, uh, there is no next room. If there is no next room, then we want to show the player a message. Okay. Uh, the message will be, Hello, you seem to have won. Great. Okay, and then uh, we're going to end the game. Okay, so just so we can follow the logic here, this is all to do with the point gathering events. Yes. And so what we've done is said uh, if you hit one of the smiley yellow face object to point event guys, your score goes up by one and that smiley yellow point event object to guy goes away. And if there aren't any more of them left, we'll go to the next level if it exists. And if it doesn't exist, we're going to display the message that you win and end the game. Yeah. Okay. So that should work. Let's test it. Okay. So we play the game. I start getting points. I'll let you just show the score up there. Yeah. As I go through, I'm not the fastest player. Um, it's sort of, is there a way to change and make it go diagonally? Because I can only go up, down, left, and right. That's, I assume, something for later? Yeah. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to go get the last one. Score goes to eight. And we fade out, and there we are. And, and our score is still eight. Score is still eight, so it's, it's done that for us. Now we're going to go get all the rest of the points. Um, starting, Keeps going up. Yep. I'm starting to get better at moving around. I'm not going diagonally, but we'll deal with that later. What's my high score going to be here? It looks like I'm going to get to 23. And here we go. I get to 23. Hello, you seem to have won. You can type whatever you want in there, your winning message, and then it ends the game.